Does altitude make you hungry? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. And what I do know is that I'm currently at altitude training for the Houston Marathon. I've got two runs on deck today and a full day of eating that I'm gonna take you through. Let's find out, shall we? Does altitude make you hungry? And huge thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. A little bit nippy out here. Ugh, top of the morning to you. Metal chairs be cold. We have our first session on deck today. First session of this altitude camp. And this is what's gonna fuel me through it. We have, what? We have the biggest bowl of porridge. It's, it's basically overflowing. I really don't wanna pour it out, but you can't see it from there. Can you see that? Oh, I just poured some out. Oh, oopsie. Just standard porridge oats this morning with a little sprinkle of salt and some honey. I like the sweet and salty mix on porridge. And then, of course, English breakfast tea to wash it all down. Actually, this is a Yorkshire tea and I brought these tea bags with me. I'm so proud of myself remembering that. <sighs> Gonna chow this down because in 35 minutes, we are leaving to go to Le Lac. Le Lac de Matemal. Oh yes, of course. And I always thought it was called Le Lac de mate mail, but apparently that's just how we say it. De mate mal. De lac de mate mal. Mate mal? That sounds Spanish, but it's not. <sighs> Yum. All right, first sesh on deck today. We have got five times five minute tempo of two minutes. And uh, I've got Neve for company today. Yay. <laughs> when was the last time we sessioned together? Oh my God, years ago, probably. A long time ago. <laughs> long time since I've been staring at Neve's back on a cross country session, probably, <laughs> at all <Ultra> shot. <laughs> well, the tables have probably turned. <laughs> Definitely turned. We will see. <laughs> Warming up the first session. <laughs> it's windy. <laughs> Any final words of wisdom, Neve, for this um, session? Sure. <laughs> no, complete no words it. Of Just do it. Billy's turned me into sunglasses, girly. Block out the pain. Yeah. No one can see what is behind <laughs> these. Uh, we're gonna Lessons. start. Mm. The height difference. <laughs> <laughs> There's, that, there's a tree in the middle of the, you'll see a tree, kind of splits a bit, yeah? When you go past that tree and then you take, take a right, yeah. that is around five minutes. Okay, so yeah. should we do like two strides that way? I do, I do long strides these days. So, like 30 seconds. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like 26 miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sandwich. Harder than the first one? A little bit with that hill. Little hill. But a little bit calmer. Yeah. Like yeah. down by rhythm. Yeah. 
plus Wendy too. Three more. Oh, charming. Thanks for giving me some notice though. <laughs> nice. Out for a jog. Get a move on. Nice work, number four or five. Looking good. Thoughts? Bit, right, bit of a choppy one. Yeah. Lady with a dog nearly had me over a boulder. I like that boulder. I don't know the French word for more. Mm. Un. I know easy is facile. Oh, facile yeah. beurre. Easy butter. That'll do. Um, uh, uh. Little full send. No, Helen will be on my tail. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. Not. <laughs> yeah sorry, Helen. Done. That's one done. Woo. Good. Thanks, coach. I might coach, be camera woman. I might not be no Daniel, but I got a big lats now. <laughs> no, you look good. Something therapeutic about being able to like hear the bike. I'm just there with you, like yeah. taking yeah, a Yeah, yeah, just a bit of company. Yeah. Out to breathing. <laughs> <laughs> woman of the hour. Miss Lando Norris. <laughs> I'll put um I'll put her deets in the description. Hit her up for coaching queries, videography, coaching. bookings. Yeah, yeah. I'm she, high rate. Yeah, <laughs> she doesn't come cheap though. <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by HelloFresh. Now, I'm gonna be real. Today has been full on. Daniel and I have both just got back from massage. It is, what time is it, Daniel? Quarter to eight. Quarter to eight. And I'm hungry, verging on hangry. It is so nice to just come home, not have to think about what we need to cook, figure out how long it's gonna take, whether we've got the ingredients, whether we've got enough of the ingredients. I've got the recipe card here. It says it's gonna take 25 to 30 minutes, which I think I can cope with. The ingredients are all measured out. There's zero waste, which I'm a big fan of because we're very good at buying food and forgetting that we have it. With HelloFresh, that doesn't happen. And there's 44 recipes to choose from every week, which is actually a struggle to pick the best recipes because there's so many good ones on there. I'm gonna be even more real. I'm not really the one cooking, am I? You all know that Daniel is the cook in this house, but he's tired too, and the instructions are all laid out there. He's not gonna think, he's just gonna cook. I can do that. And the other thing that's really cool is HelloFresh is super flexible. You're not committed or tied in for any length of time. You can skip weeks if you go away, or if you fancy just taking a week off, you can do that super easily. And if you use my code, which is on the screen now, that's phillyb2023, or scan the QR code, or hit the link in the description, you can get 60% off your first box and your next two months at 25% off, which is a pretty good deal. Plus there's free gifts up for grabs. Now I'm seriously hungry, so let's get this cooking. Taste test. Mmm. Not bad, Daniel. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this week's video. I'm gonna go get my munch on now. Check out the discount code. So I'm attempting to answer the question today, does altitude make you hungry? Or hungrier, shall we say? Because as a distance runner, you're quite often hungry because <laughs> you're just burning calories all the time. And sometimes it can be harder to get those calories back in than you actually realise. So straight after the sesh, I've got myself a protein shake smoothie hybrid today. It looks really gross, but that's because the bottle is green. This is just three scoops of OTE chocolate protein, a banana, some ice, a little bit of honey to add some extra sugar in there, add a little bit of banana flavor. If I can open it into the uh, protein shake. Not bad. Getting that in straight away. I've also got a OTE, a little anytime flapjack bar back in the car. So I'll get that as well before we drive back because it's a 25 minute drive and I just don't want to not eat something for that length of time. It's good to get something in ASAP really to uh, replenish those carb stores and uh, make the muscles happy that they've had some munch. What, uh, what's in your smoothie, Neve? Um, raspberries, blueberries, vanilla protein powder, a bit of yogurt some orange juice very nutritious health that sounds a bit nicer than mine because mine's just chocolate protein and banana but it's actually quite good and the blender being bad means that you kind of get nice little lumpy bits of banana <laughs> I'm like, lump banana. that's very nice now the question is to dip the legs 
or to dip the whole body. I feel like it is warm enough to dip, but wind, so... But it's only going to get colder, so it's but like... also, once your body's in the water, you'll be protected from the wind. What, by freezing cold yeah. water? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a great idea! That's girl math. Girl science. It's kind of now or never, because it's going to get cold later this week, slash next week, so um, I just really want to go for a little baby swim. Even though I hate swimming, it's just, it's just more of a, I want to tick it off the bucket list. It's quite cold. Oh, well, that's fine then. I'm gonna have half of this before, and then I have half of it to look forward to when I get out. But I can only have it once I've gone up to here. <laughs> you only live once, right? Until you die of hypothermia. We're Moo Lake. You also only die once, and yeah, maybe this will be a great way to go. Woo! Come on! I feel like we can't leave till you put the head under. My head? It doesn't count if your hair doesn't get wet. Oh, I don't want to get my hair wet. Love the water. <laughs> Love the Ooh, really cool. Love the cold. A round of applause for myself there. Well done. Oh, that wind it certainly does hit you. I'm like a happy little child get your reward in. Just a day at the beach. I am French. I am French. Je suis Francais. <laughs> it's called manifesting, okay? <laughs> Bonjour. Puis-je avoir une baguette, s'il vous plaît? Bonjour. Puis-je avoir une baguette, s'il vous plaît? Bonjour. Puis-je avoir une baguette, s'il vous plaît? Come on, let's do this. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Getting far too excited about speaking in full sentences in French. Right, let's make sure we use the entrance today, <laughs> not the yeah. It gets shouted at. French people like their direction. Yeah, follow the rules, English. Wish me luck. Here we go. Bonjour. Uh, Puis je avoir une baguette, s'il vous plaît? Yes. She understood me. It's very exciting. <laughs> yes. Winning. <laughs> Zero English was spoken in that interaction. Still got dirty looks from the French there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was the accent. They were like, we're not buying it. <laughs> we, we picked up some kombucha, which I'm gonna have now with my lunch. Other than French bread, I'm not too sure what's on the menu, but I know I'm hungry because we had a sesh this morning. So, time to eat something nutritious and delicious. Lunch, views, beautiful. What do I have here, you may ask? I have some leftover butternut squash, chicken and chorizo, peas, mushroom, onion stew thing that we had on rice last night that I cooked. I'll have you know. Oh no! Look at me, I'm a changed woman. Only whilst I'm on a training camp though, so Daniel, if you're watching, there's no change to our arrangement at home. And I've just topped that up with a little bit of bread to mop up the juice. The chorizo and the chicken is arguably better the day after, and it's just beautiful. Mm. Guess who's hungry? It's me. I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. It's uh, three minutes past five, and I'm gonna get my snack on because I have got a massage in half an hour. And you don't wanna be hungry when you're having a massage because you're already gonna be in pain. <laughs> so you don't wanna be thinking about the pain that your stomach's in as well. I am probably gonna have a nice bowl of something. Do we have granola? We do. 
I'm gonna have some granola and banana with some milk because I don't have a double run. And um, if you didn't know, granola is not a snack to have in the afternoon if you do have a double run because, well, it just, when the granola is in your stomach and then you then run, I mean, just don't, I wouldn't run after eating granola. Um, oatmeal, yes, porridge, yes. I don't know what it is about granola. It just speeds up that system of, of food entering the system and departing the system. It, it makes you wanna poo. I'm just kidding, I'm gonna slice that banana. Oh, and I, um, I also had a couple... Oops. I also had a couple of these. Petit beurre, which I think means small butter. Very nice. Gazing at the people down below. <coughs> Neva's cooked up an absolute storm. We have a classic quick tuna veggie pasta mix, because neither of us realized that we didn't know what we were eating for dinner. <laughs> it's tasty. And rate the nutrition. Like, yeah, everything you need. Ticked all the boxes in there. Cheese is necessary. Yum. Tuna, tomato, cheese, pasta. Four way relationship made in heaven. Oh. It is 26 past nine. <laughs> and I'm shattered. We've just been watching the David Beckham documentary and it's very good, I would highly recommend. Does altitude make you more hungry? I'm a very hungry person. I think it makes you a little bit more hungry, mainly because you're working harder, right? It's harder to run at the same pace up here with less oxygen and you're also working harder to recover when you're at rest. And that's actually true. That's not just me thinking that. I know that for a fact. And apparently it's more intense of an effect when you're at the top of your game in, in the sort of elite category of sport, if you like, because you have a higher resting metabolic rate anyway. Is that what it's called? Where it's like how many calories you use at rest? Resting metabolic rate? Scientifically checked. I have my, uh, my source. <laughs> my source. Hi bud, how are you? There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, make it even more awkward. <laughs> and whilst I would normally have an evening snack, I feel like I'm too tired. And I had a nice big bowl of pasta. So that's the day of eating at altitude. First workout done and excited for some more. So stay tuned for those. And as always, love the grind.